Hey, what's going on guys? Um, haven't done a video in a couple weeks. Uh, it's been a pretty hectic couple weeks for us. Uh, just real quickly, I normally don't talk about the mainstream news ever in my videos or anything, but the Joplin tornado um, hit pretty close to home uh, for me um, this last weekend. And so the tornado went through Joplin and um, I think destroyed 75% of the city. I, I lived half my life in the, around the Joplin area um, and I've actually spent a couple years living in Joplin and um, to see that was just uh, scary, you know. Um, I guess ultimately I, I really want to just let everyone know that I'm thinking of the people in Joplin, um, I'm thinking of the people I know in Joplin, people who I haven't been able to contact. Um, I know they have a lot of power outages and people are trying to still dig through the rubble right now, um, but my thoughts, um, you know, and everything just goes out to them uh, right now. It's a very surreal situation, um, but I did want to address it um, as crappy uh, as it is and say that my thoughts are are, are with you guys and I hope that everything everything can turn out the best that it can for this for the circumstances and that more survivors are found and, and that kind of stuff um, and some other news um, you know I've been wanting to post videos over the last couple weeks but uh, real life has kind of caught up with us um, we are a part of the um, housing market collapse kind of out here um, as banks are repossessing houses. Um, the house that we're renting from now um, has been repossessed so we've been given kind of a short period of time to find a new place to live and um, we've been spending a lot of our time just trying to figure out uh, what we're going to be doing um, over the next uh, couple weeks here to uh, get ourselves a little bit more in a stable environment. Um, we're not really in an environment to be uploading videos on the regular right now and I know you guys understand that. Um, but I just wanted to let you know why videos have been getting posted or whatever. Um, still though, I did want to post a video today and I wanted to give away a couple books um, to the people uh, who uh, left a comment and liked the last video. I first want to say thank you guys for leaving all those comments uh, and liking the video. That stuff really helps uh, our channel. Um, <clears throat> I actually did go through and I read all the comments. Um, there was a ton and, <coughs> excuse me, I was glad to see so many people uh, reading, not just comic books, but novels and practically anything you can get your hands on. I think I can relate to a lot of you guys. I really don't buy my books online either. I normally go to a bookstore, you know, and uh, pick up my books and kind of just, you know, thumb through everything and see what I like, see what I don't like or whatever. So it was cool getting those responses from you guys. Um, I am still working on, on getting our books in the store. We actually contacted a distributor, but I'm going to save all that for another video. I did want to tell you guys um, that I had finished um, Stephen King's The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger. Um, this was an absolutely amazing book. I'm not going to like review it or anything on here. Um, it was great. It was a great book. I loved it um, from beginning to end. I actually really read it in about two days. You know, um, For me, it's hard to start a book, but once I get started, you know, you can just you keep going, next thing you know you're caught up into it, and then two days later you're mad that it's over already. Um, it was a great book, and there was a part in this afterward here, um, written by Stephen King, that, um, I don't know, it just brought a little bit of a sense of relief to me. Um, and I'm going to read it to you guys uh, real quick. <clears throat> I believe I probably owe readers who have come this far with me some sort of synopsis, the argument those great old romantic po poets would have called it, of what is to come. Since I'll, most, since I'll almost surely die before completing this entire novel, or epic, or whatever you'd call it. The sad fact is I really can't do that. People who know me understand that I am not an intellectual ball of fire. And people who have read my work with some critical approval, there are a few, I bribe them, would probably agree that the best of my stuff comes from the heart rather than from the head, or from the gut, which is the place from which the strongest emotional writing originates. All of which is just a way of saying that I'm never completely sure where I'm going, and in this and in this story that is even more true than usual. <clears throat> um, that little paragraph in a sentence there, um, where he's just openly admitting that he doesn't know um, what he's going to do for the story. Um, you know, in that forward he also mentioned that he had been sitting on this work for 12 years before it actually got published, and he was just kind of, you know. Uh, 
continuing it on his own like a cord pretty much. Um, that right there, the fact that he openly admitted he doesn't know exactly what he's going to be doing, kind of goes and, and went, I guess, against everything that I thought about creators and writers. You know, I always thought that these guys had everything figured out and that it was all just according to plan and they never had any moments of, of doubt or worry or insecurity or uncertainty. Um, and to, for him to just say that, it, it is. It's, it's, it's relieving um, as a writer because that's, that's very much how you feel, especially after finishing a project. Um, you realize all the hard work that went into it, and uh, there's no doubt that, you know, like in, in our case, I want to continue with what we're doing, but there's um, the truth and the, and the realization that, you know, nothing's for certain um, because we live in, we live real lives just like anybody else, you know, and um, nothing's, nothing's for certain, and I thought that was just a really cool uh, little just, just part in there to just kind of pick up those aspiring writers, you know, that if you don't know what you want to do yet or, or you know, you've tried one thing and you're not sure how you want to do something else or, or whatever, um, I think everybody goes through that. I think all creators go through that and all writers and musicians and probably everybody. Um, and it's just, uh, yeah, it was comforting. It was comforting to read that. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to read that with you guys. I'd like to get your thoughts on that, you know. Um, so leave some comments below. This is the next book that I'm going to be reading. Um, it's called Lolita. I've actually started it. I've started it three different times. Um, I've never gotten past like page 40 something. But this one I am going to read. I, I, I want to read the entire thing. Um, it was recommended to me actually by Anthony. Um, he had read this book multiple times. Um, he was, and was, this was one of the books he was reading last. His bookmark is actually still, still in there and I just leave it right in the book, you know? I thought that's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to be uh, picking up on this and some other books too. It's not really the style of book that I normally would be used to. The Gunslinger is definitely the style that I would, I almost am attracted to, I guess you could say. And this right here is, um, it's been called The Only Convincing uh, Love Story of Our Century by Vanity Fair. Um, it's a very unique book. Um, it's strange. And if you guys look it up, um, you know, you can check out exactly what the book's about and everything. I won't get into it too much. But yeah, so there's a couple things for you guys. Uh, also, um, <clears throat> I did do a blog. Um, I'm going to leave a link to uh, the blog um, down in the description um, below. I did a blog on um, the writer and um, artist kind of relationship. Uh, I actually posted a picture that I drew for Anthony, kind of a, uh, what would you call that? Um, a storyboard uh, <clears throat> is a very, very rough storyboard um, along with a script, you know, and stuff like that to Anthony. And I kind of showed how what I had had envisioned um, to begin with and how it turned into the uh, final product. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the blog. And there's also a picture of one of the pages completely done and everything. So you can check out the, the blog um, in the description below. Wow, look at my hair. It's getting, it's getting bad here. Hold on a second. Um, also, um, Joseph has started a YouTube channel. I've kind of mentioned it once before, but he's been posting a lot of music videos and just videos in general, him playing the guitar, things like that, on his other channel. Um, we are actually going to work on some music stuff around here. We, we do, do some music stuff, rap and stuff like that for fun, and we're going to be posting it on that channel. Um, so please go to that channel, uh, subscribe. Um, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Um, he's been posting a video like every day or every other day of, of new music that you guys can listen to. Um, very innovative, very cool stuff. Um, so please go check that out. If you do one thing in this video, go check that out. Um, subscribe to that channel, um, and we'll try to bring you guys some, uh, you know, some creative stuff from the musical as aspect. Um, Joseph obviously um, has a kind of a good a grip on. Um, his music and so uh, it's nice to kind of have fun with that and be creative with it so I hope you guys will uh, yeah go subscribe to that channel we've actually been doing some podcasts uh, with people and had some people reach out to us and say hey we do a podcast show would you guys want to come on and um, you know do like an hour show with us and talk about you know the journey and everything that you guys uh, you know are doing and have done and, and whatnot um, and, and yeah we're gonna you know I was like yeah of course we'll do it you know so um, I don't really know how to get 
uh, everything that we're involved with like out to you guys and Twitter actually is the best way because I can just you know post the link to uh, what we're up to what we're doing I, I do it anyway I, I, and for you guys to follow on Twitter no you know I post a link to the blogs I post a link every time we do a new video or every time Joseph does a new video so um, our real outlet right now is the Twitter account um, I'll leave a link to the description in that as well and um, yeah that's I think that's it for now guys just trying to get our feet underneath us right now and um, we will be back uh, and uh, going strong again um, just uh, give us some time and uh, be patient and um, once again we appreciate all the support um, everybody who has bought a book um, thank you so much uh, it really does help with what we're doing and um, it keeps us um, alive creatively it really does so I appreciate everything that you guys um, have done for us and all the support and everything. I, I still, um, I know we've done this YouTube thing for two years, I'm still like just humbled, you know, humbled at how you guys are just always there, you know, and um, always uplifting and everything too. So um, it is very, very cool and I really, really do appreciate it. All right, I'm, I'm dragging this thing on too long. I'm going to mention the two uh, winners at the end of the video. Um, I'll just post the names and those two people please get a hold of me Just send me a PM if you didn't win I'm sorry there were so many people um, we will be giving away more books into the future um, another another reason to follow on Twitter because I'm gonna actually be giving away books on the blog and um, the books on podcasts once we get started and underway and have a nice booth and everything set up for it um, yeah so all that stuff take all that in if you can and um, <laughs> we'll see you guys around and uh, have a good one. Have a good. Uh, have a good day. Have a good weekend. Later. Mm -hmm.